On the average, Nigeria loses an estimated $3.3 billion worth of steel and associated derivatives to importation every year. Another 53 billion naira is lost annually to illegal importation of iron and steel products, and fears arrive that heavy importation could collapse the industry. Findings have also shown that the nation has a deficit of about 15 million metric tons of its annual steel production requirements. This India company has been in Nigeria for close to 50 years and is now spreading its tentacles towards reducing Nigeria's dependence on imported steel products. The Minister of Finance is on a working visit to the construction site to better understand the import of the company's intervention. The company says its $1.5 billion investment will catapult the country to a steel hub. Our work here will revolutionize the steel industry. We will be mining iron ore to produce DRI, which will in turn allow African industries to manufacture a higher grade of steel more efficiently. The minister underscores the importance of the steel sector to industrialization. This project, we are now assured that we can attract the auto industries of the world to come into Nigeria and produce cars in Nigeria for Nigerians as well as for the region. Zainab Hamed is elated as she's taking around the site for an on-the-spot assessment. This will be the first company that is producing steel made in Nigeria, high-quality steel that will be used by our industries and it will help us to conserve our foreign exchange and also help us fast track our journey towards industrialization. The company is expected to kick off the first phase of steel production next year when it marks 50 years in Nigeria. The company believes Nigeria has a brighter future in the steel industry with its readiness to produce over 1 million metric tons of steel in a year and this excites the government. Jokeyadza, TVC News, Kujeni, Cardinal State.